So what I'm doing is I like to do is, I know this doesn't look good, but it is fine, honestly. <laughs> it's been in the fridge and it's just darkened a bit. So what I do is we have the avocado and we get the turmeric. Right, we're gonna need a little bit more on that baby. So not quite overloaded, but just like a spoonful. It's hard to come out. Now, that'll do babe, that'll do. Now just uh, for all the uh, trolls, I do do this myself, but Mel's helping me because uh, I'm holding the camera and it's a bit difficult. That'll do, baby. Just put that in. Yeah. Yeah. So then we get the um, cinnamon. Same. Same again, baby. Yeah. How's that taste? Is it good? It's <coughs> not really good, but it's good for you. It's good for you. <laughs> your digestive system, it's got loads of nutrients and stuff. That's fine, that's fine, just leave it at that. <coughs> right, now, what I normally would do with something, and especially with the, um, the uh, when I juice the vegetables, is I'd put some honey in it. That is sweet. But unfortunately, the honey in the Philippines isn't organic. It's not just pure honey. Like everything in the Philippines, they add sugar and this is like a syrup and i'd used it once and i thought this doesn't taste right and when i looked at the ingredients it's like got 30 percent sugar in it. it it's basically not honey so i can't use that it's no good it's it's a killer so the other thing i use is coconut oil, coconut oil. so i put a spoonful of coconut oil That'll do, baby. That's it. Right. Now, the other thing is olive oil. Now, this is good stuff. It is the virgin stuff. That'll do, baby. Not too much of that. That's it. Fine. Yeah. And the last but not least is black pepper. All of it, babe. Just put it all in. That's it. And then we mix it. Now, yeah, you're all thinking, my God, that looks gross. And yes, it is. It's gross. There you go. And you just put it into a mush. And then you eat it. Yeah, I'll eat it in a minute, babe. <laughs> so the next is what, what I veg and uh, what I juice, which I'll, I'll show you later. Fruit is very expensive in the Philippines. The only fruit that's reasonably cheap is the banana. Um, the and the apple also. You think the apple is expensive? The apple's like 10, it's depending 10 on the size of the apple, it can be 10, yeah. 20 pesos per apple. I don't consider that very cheap to say we're in a tropical climate, but I know they're imported, you see. They're not, they're not uh, grown in the Philippines and that's why they're so expensive. Um, so if you're going to do this kind of thing, it's not going to be cheap. Um, and that, I mean, <laughs> these are so expensive. Scrapes. Yeah. Um, this is all we can afford. So we, we've basically looked into it, chosen some vegetables that we can afford, chosen, you know, as much fruit as we can afford. And, uh, this is it. So yes, guys, there is other things we can uh, buy, but I don't want to complicate things. It's working for me. My blood pressure's plummeted. My health has got a lot better. I've got a lot more energy. I'm a lot more lively than I was before. And um, you drink also lemon, lemon juice. Yeah, lemon. we also. I also drink the lemon juice. Um, I drink the lemongrass with ginger. Lemongrass with ginger, ginger root, the ginger root, and um, banana peel. Also. Oh, the banana peel, yeah. What is that? Full of magnesium. It's really good for you. The banana peel. What we do is you get the banana peel, you cut the ends off, you you clean 
the middle with a knife and then put them in some water and boil the water till the water goes brown and then you drink the juice and it helps you sleep as well guys as well it's really good so that's that's something else i do i do lots of different things but my i don't eat any of the filipino food now um i'm really good <laughs> i don't it's it's like happened overnight i've realized i don't want uh, i don't want all these nice things to happen to me here and then something bad happened to me and again you know michael is uh made things a bit real as well you know um again what i would say and i'm probably preaching to the converted but if you have a health condition such as diabetes or anything like that and i'm going to get somebody that says i've got diabetes i'm all right yeah i'm sure you are but i always considered myself to be quite healthy then i come here and i have nothing but health problems you know i've never had blood pressure problems never had heart anything you know nothing no problems then you come here it's a really hot climate the food's not you know good for your system here and uh, the lifestyle of filipinos they're always eating they're always drinking and you get caught up in that lifestyle and before you know it you've put loads of weight on you 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 know everything's going to pot basically um so your body is a a wonderful machine and if it's fed the right things and you drink the right things um it will heal itself it'll heal all kinds of ailments um you have your body has to, has to have a high ph to operate you have a high ph and your body can cope with anything cancer and and other ailments can't survive in a body with a high ph so that is my goal to keep my body of a, a a high ph a stable high ph and that way it's unlikely i will get cancer in my lifetime probably die of a heart attack or something <laughs> but I'll most likely not get cancer so anyway this is the veg and i'm going to show you what we do with it and um, i'm not going to show you me uh blending this because you know once you've seen something blended you've seen it blended and that's it so let's blend this babe show them what we do like i say i got this bullet off uh, lazada and it's really good really good oh, let's the blend. thing with that is as well <laughs> once you've used it it takes about half an hour to clean it and get it get it all cleaned up you are baby carrots and then what is this carrots and then we we got peppers we got red and green peppers cucumber, cucumber. This one. that is nice. the philippine equivalent to spinach spinach yeah spinach. the greener the better when you when you're juicing the the darker the green the better it's going to be this one. yeah i think we've got a bit too much there baby just take a little bit out otherwise it's going to be just a little bit sweeter that's it All right, buggy just, beans yeah buggy beans buggy beans buggy beans right, this well. one celery celery, celery. That's, yes, it. that's it then right. add water right yeah add some processed water now the thing with the the thing with this is you've got to be careful if you fill it too much then it just explodes out the bottom and you've got a right mess on your hands hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard can you do it's because you're not watching what you're doing baby it's not plugged I in. It's not plugged in, I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Right, there's no, you don't have to fight it. That's it. And there you go. This puts it into a mush. Now, normally you can't really drink it straight from there, it does need straining. 
so what we do is we put it through a strainer and get all the juice out then we put it back into there put some more water in and juice it again and then we'll get a nice big container of juice and that my friends is the best detox you can have for your body seriously once you start juicing and you get rid of all it's this it's effective also right your blood pressure is going down you yeah i mean blood medicine right no don't take any medicine now mm -hmm. and my blood pressure is lower than it's ever been so that's basically it isn't it babe yeah. that's what we do and we do exactly the same procedure with the fruit and that's my day along with i take vitamin c and i take vitamin d mm -hmm. um now you shouldn't need to take a lot of vitamin d if you're out in the sun all the time but um to get your body in or my body at least for the next um two three months i'm going to be taking some vitamin d um <laughs> it's a never-ending uh, buy really I mean this there's, there's loads of different stuff people say oh yeah you need this and you need that and you need yeah yeah well if you got the money you can do that but this is all I can afford on, on my um, money so it's it's good enough it's doing the job and it's working so I hope you found that interesting so till the next video Bye. in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah <laughs>